Hey folks, Graham here, Asia Tech Podcast. Storytelling, I posted about it yesterday on LinkedIn. Um, thank you for all your comments and your responses. A lot of positive feedback on that. Really touched a nerve, I think, with people, understanding that this is really what it's about. Storytelling, whether it's on LinkedIn, whether it's in a pitch competition, sitting in front of an investor, or hiring people for your startup, it's all about storytelling. And the stories that we tell each other are important about ourselves, but they're not as important as this story, and that's the story that you tell yourself every day. That is the most important story that we tell, and it's a story that we keep telling ourselves in our heads and when we talk to people about what we do and so on. So um, let me share a story with you. You know, some years ago, going back a little bit, in my younger days, I um, started running for the first time because I was in my 30s and a little bit overweight. And I could get out of the house and run down to the nearest mailbox. And my wife keeps reminding me about this. And I think I got about 300 meters before I just had to stop out of breath. And I was devastated because I never thought of myself as being unfit. Yet, like most people, I lived a quite a sedentary life, driving to work, sitting in front of a computer. You know, that's how we lived in our 30s. And I needed to change that. So I started running, but I couldn't run. I found it really difficult. And um, I, I couldn't run consistently. And that was the challenge, right? Um, but years later, and as a passion I still carry my, with myself today, I started Ironman Triathlon. And I completed my first Ironman in 2012 um, when I turned 40. And I've been doing it ever since. Ironmans and half Ironmans. And I absolutely love it. And, you know, the interesting thing about Iron Man, and if you don't know what Iron Man is, it's a swim and a bike and a run. It's a, a 4,000 meter open water swim, 180 kilometer bike, followed by a marathon. And it's an insane sport, and I absolutely love it. And anybody who does Iron Man loves it. Nobody just likes it, it's, it's a love or hate relationship. And if you look at the Iron Man website, one of the most successful marketing campaigns they ever ran on their website was you landed on the Iron Man website and it said, Iron Man become one and that was it become one and then there was a button which said apply for the next race and that is such a powerful story because think about it you know you are no longer the fat fuck who couldn't run to the mailbox down the road you are now an iron man and that story that we tell ourselves on a daily basis changes everything it changes how you talk to people. It changes how people talk to you. And it changes how you think about yourself. You know, if you go to Disney World, you know, the happiest place on the planet, you, you, they don't get happy by simply, you know, paying them, you know, above average market rates or giving them like funky offices to work in. You know, Disney employees are not called employees in Disney World. They are called cast members, cast members. Think about that. It's as if they are on stage, on a show. They are. You know, when you change the story you tell about yourself, you also change your expectations of behavior. So think about how powerful that story is. If you keep telling yourself a story about who you are, that sets the definition of how you behave, what your norms are, and also how people respond to you. So, Think about that in your startup, how you pitch people, how you interact with people that you want to hire. If you want to have a better life, simply tell a better story. That's what it comes down to. You can change the story that you tell about yourself. So, you know, I no longer think of myself as a runner or, you know, a keep fit enthusiast. You know, I think of myself as an athlete. And people say, well, hang on a second, athletes, they're like Olympics or, you know, they're professionals. No, they're not. Athletes is anybody who takes a sport seriously. And I take Ironman seriously. And if I think of myself as an athlete, that changes my behavior. It changes what I think about in terms of what I put in my mouth. You know, whether I am working out today or not. And how I relate to other people. And yes, I'm not going to win any gold medals. Um, you know, and I'm not going to break any records anytime soon. But if I think of myself as an athlete, then I behave like an athlete and I get the results that I want. So to the point about giving yourself a better outcome, simply change the story that you keep telling about yourself. It starts in here, and that is the power of story. So think about how that can impact you. Think about how it can impact your startup, and think about how it can impact how you communicate with people. My name's Graham Brown.